Hi everyone, welcome back to Gumpa TV, sponsored by HobbyLink Japan. As you can see, we're back in the HobbyLink warehouse, and uh, normally we would be talking about Gunpla and Gundam. But uh, we have to recognize here at uh, Gumpa TV that the plastic modeling community is larger than Gundam. And uh, the, the amount of variety in uh, Plamo is off the charts. It's hard to keep track of. And what we want to do is we want to bring things you might not know about, other plastic model kits, to your attention, such as uh, Macross, uh, Virtuon, Super Robot Wars, uh, all these kind of things that uh, you may not know about, but you might be interested in checking out, we're going to show you. So follow me down these aisles, and we'll have a look. So if you've only been watching Gumpa TV, you probably think that uh, every plastic model kit out there is made by Bandai, but that's not the case. There's actually a lot of uh, makers out there making plastic model kits, snap fit ones especially, and probably the uh, second in line after Bandai would be Kotobukiya. And Kotobukiya is famous for its lines such as uh, Zoids. And the Zoids line is based off of uh, animals. They're like um, mechanized animals that fight each other. And uh, there's a, a whole series of these things and they keep coming out with bigger and more fearsome looking ones. And uh, I would say that this is probably uh, a little higher than a Master Grade Gundam kit would be the amount of parts involved and detail. Uh, a lot of people tend to paint these themselves because they don't like the uh, bright colors that they come in. But it's snap fit and uh, molded in color, so you can just leave it as it is if you want it to. We see lots of uh, uh, heavy animals, rhinos, uh, tigers and lions and things like that. And you get some smaller kits as well. Still with like the, the cheetah and panther kind of look here. Also from Kotobukiya. Where are we here? A lot of their kits that they come out with are actually based on uh, video games. For example, here's the Border Break series. And uh, again, pretty standard fighting mech. Uh, these ones, uh, decals, some of, the, or some of the parts are molded actually in color. You don't have to put on stickers. But uh, they include painting guides if you want to paint them, just like a Gundam kit. As well as the uh, Super Robot Wars. Again, more robots that aren't quite looking like robots. You can see the giant wings on this thing. But again, it's just a big fighting machine, similar to what we all know and love, Gundam. Also on the shelf I see something by Hasegawa, and they've also uh, branched into the uh, SnapFit model kits. These are from the Virtual On game, and uh, a lot of these kits are very popular because the person doing the design for these uh, mecha is the same one that does uh, Gundam, a lot of the uh, UC Gundam and such. It's the uh, Katoki Hajime versions. So. This, uh, this is one of the Katoki Hajime kits that we have here from the Virtual On. And we'll just wander down to the next set here. Again, coming from uh, video games or anime. Here's the Broken Blade series. Here's the Delphine. These ones just uh, started coming out uh, fairly recently. The anime came out within the last uh, year or so. And I actually uh, sat next to someone on a train who was watching it, and it was a really cool anime. So these kits uh, have my interest, that's for sure. And uh, frame arms. Frame arms we need to mention because it's a very unique idea in that uh, they actually give you a frame ready to go, and you will uh, cut off these plastic pieces and put them on the frame. But you can also swap with the other uh, kits in the series and make your own kind of robot based on the one frame. Oh, here is another uh, Virtuon. Again, I think you can see that this is uh, Katoki Hajime had a hand in this. It's pretty crazy with all these sharp angles. And uh, the colors are pretty wild. It does look a little bit uh, UC Gundam-ish, I think, if you pay attention to some of the lines. Maybe like the Delta Plus. And uh, also from Kotobukiya, it's gaining a lot of steam. We're seeing lots and lots of these kits now. This is the uh, Hoi Hoi Sun. And if you don't know what Hoi Hoi is, uh, this is a little tiny android uh, insect exterminator. And basically, it sits in the charger at night. And if there is an insect that uh, was wandering around your apartment, this thing comes alive and goes out and kills them while you're sleeping. And uh, this started out as a 10 minute anime and uh, became very popular. So Kotobukiya picked up the licensing rights and started putting out all these kits based on the characters that, uh, that appear in that anime and the manga. Now let's head on to the next shelf. More Super Robot Wars. You can see this is a different, larger scale here. This thing is uh, getting pretty massive, but they include a stand for you, thank goodness. 
because this thing is meant to uh, be posed kind of flying around with its big wings and stuff like that. And we've also got uh, Code Geese kits. And uh, these are from Bandai, we're going back to Bandai. And you can see the Bandai style in here with uh, the colors and the articulation and things like that. And uh, these are probably uh, a little lesser known than the Gundam series, of course, because everybody knows Gundam. But the Code Geese kits are really, uh, really well done too. And this looks like the Super Robot Wars aisle. Here we go, we got some more of these. Also from uh, Kotobuki is Line Barrel. Now Line Barrel I'm not so familiar with. I do know that uh, we sold a couple of these as uh, toys, die-cast toys. And uh, they sold out really quickly. And uh, the model kits, uh, maybe I'm going to have to have a try and put one of these together one day. Because it's, the, I, the look totally intrigues me. Moving on. Mm -hmm. Alright. Armored Core. Now the Armored Core, uh, in the description on the product page, it says that uh, it's uh, basic assembly, but you might need glue for some parts. Well, I think that the little uh, D-style one, you're fine. No problem, it'll assemble. This is probably my favorite uh, Armored Core. It's the uh, White Glint. But if you don't like the SD version, well then... <laughs> You need to drop a few more pennies because here is the uh, movie color version and this thing is humongous. Like, it's uh, enormous, comes with this giant backpack. Sometimes this thing is sold separately depending on uh, which kit version you get. But uh, I would say that this is probably one of the uh, best non-Gundam looking kits that I've seen. So this, you can see there's uh, a lot of Bandai stuff here. And uh, this is their Master Grade line, but it's not Gundam of course. This is their... Uh, Figure Eyes line, and you can see this is a lot of the focus on the Figure Eyes line is now uh, the uh, Kamen Rider, and uh, this one is probably the newest one. And uh, so far, we still got it in stock. I imagine these are sold and just waiting to ship out. But uh, so this is the newest one that just came in last week, and this is the Axle. And if you watched our video from the uh, hobby show that we did a couple months ago, we showed prototypes of the Axle. And it wasn't confirmed yet whether or not that this would transform into the bike. Well, this has come out now, and as you can see, Bandai has designed it. With some minor part swapping, it will actually become the bike. So if you ever wanted to assemble a Kamen Rider, or uh, be involved in the Kamen Rider universe, uh, this might be the way to go with the Excel, because you'll get to, get to play around with it and transform it back and forth. Also, anybody... Uh, who has seen, been around modeling for a while, has probably seen these five star stories kits. And there seems to be two kinds of kits here. You can get a basic snap fit one that you won't really need to paint that uh, isn't too expensive, but you can also get uh, total resin builds which include LEDs that you definitely need to glue and paint, and those things are enormously expensive, but some of them can stand like you know, uh, a meter high or more, which is, which is uh, a lot of work, but uh, is definitely a selling point for people who, are, who like the five star stories. Uh, down here we have stuff from Muvlove, which just came out recently. Uh, Muvlove, uh, maybe a lot of people don't know about it, but uh, the uh, designs are similar to Armored Core, a lot more sharper angles, and uh, a lot of people who are into Armored Core are starting to uh, jump on the Muvlove bandwagon simply because these things <laughs> look a little crazy here, and the uh, uh, details that these things have that you are able to work on customize and paint the way you like are really attractive to a lot of the modelers in Japan but that's because they tend to go overboard a lot I would think maybe uh, you should know this one the rock man or uh, for those people in North America the mega man Kotobuki is starting to put out these uh, this series of kits and so far we've got the uh, rock man or mega man and he comes with his faces just like the hoi hoi sans and things like that and uh, roll chan has come out and uh, just recently this guy, Blues, has come out, complete with cape and shield and weapon. Again, it's all uh, molded in color and snap fit, and you can part swap uh, weapons and things like that, so you don't have to worry about glue. All right, now this aisle is, is uh, all uh, Macross, uh, Hasegawa and Bandai kits. And rather than show you all the, diff all the Macross kits we have, I'm going to pull one out, and we'll open it up, and we'll show you what actually makes up a Macross kit. So I'm going to grab... This Tornado Messiah here, it's right here, and uh, we're going to open this baby up. Now, as you can see, it's very similar to a Gundam kit. You've got all your runners laid out, and you've got foil stickers. 
but you also have metal rods. But uh, probably what we need to mention most of all when we're doing this kit is these things. These are water slide decals. Now if you want to use water slide decals on a Gundam kit, you have to order uh, when Bandai starts releasing them, sometimes several months after the kit is out. But with the Macross kit, they actually include the water slide decals with the kit. And this is because while you're assembling the kit, you actually need to put these decals on. So with the, uh, let me just get the manual out here. You can see the manual opens differently than the Bandai manuals. But uh, here's, here's the decal guide on the back here. And you can see, They've got it all laid out, and some of these decals are really tricky to put, to put into place. And uh, what they have you do is, while assembly is ongoing, you slap that decal on and then put the part in place. And it, uh, it certainly gives this kit a unique look. And one other thing we should mention about Macross, Macross kits is that they're all transformable. So while they start as a robot, they're going to change into a fighter and also into their other mode, which is the half mode, the jerwalk mode. So, and these kits are designed so that there's no part swapping involved. You, you assemble it and then by pulling some things out and changing things around, you get the ability to transform freely. So with that, this is this Macross kit. I'm actually, uh, I'm actually building it myself. So we're going to show it on an upcoming episode of Gunplay TV. So please look forward to that. And for now, we'll see you later.